Hi. Um, the uh, this whole idea of uh, spirituality. Yeah. Uh, I think that it comes from the fact that a lot of people, I think, really do live and uh, kind of judge things by their emotions more than intellectually. Like uh-huh. the experiences they have emotionally are what is really the core of what their what their existence or what you know what they and. Uh, you know, how you explain it, how you explain what causes that or what's going on is the difference, I think, between believers and, and atheists. How you, explain, the experiences, uh, how you explain the emotions what emotion you're feeling, is? You know, why yeah. you're feeling certain, you know, in other words, your, your reaction to the world emotionally, you can come back and go, okay, why, why do I feel that way? Now, I'll, I'll give you an example. I, I have a feeling sometimes, the best described is, uh, gratitude or gratefulness. Okay, you know, I, you know, that's a good feeling where I'm glad, and I. It's like I want to thank somebody yeah. because things have gone my way. I know there's nobody to thank, yeah. and I think it's because I'm evo- evolved as a social creature, and that my emotions are built for interacting with other people. That my when I feel happy, I want to thank somebody, and even when there's nobody there, yeah. I can explain that. But the feeling is very powerful. I feel it quite strongly. And, you know, to describe it, that's the best way for me to describe it. So I think it could be that some of this spirituality is, that that word gets used for sort of emoting when there's nobody else there and reacting when there's nobody else there as if there was somebody there. And it kind of implies a belief in a God. Excuse me. Uh, But it doesn't... I mean, it, it seems like it would imply a belief in a God, but it doesn't really mean you have to. And right. You can have yeah. the feelings, but consciously be aware that... Right. That, and I think that's yeah. the difference. And I, hmm. I, it worries me a little bit. You said something earlier that, you know, atheists have uh, emotions differently than the rest. And I don't think that's really true. I think well, we experience... I, I, well, I, I, was, if we was, said that, we were just flailing around wildly. I know. For, yeah, <laughs> for yeah I mean, I, I'm not trying to... Uh, yeah. Make a big point there, but uh, I do worry that uh, we don't share enough. That you know, you know what? All these big, powerful feelings of awe, oh, you know, uh, yeah. kind of emotionality or whatever it is, yeah. are experiences that everybody experiences. And it, a lot of people use the fact that they have that. You know, is really the reason why people end up believing in things. Yeah. Because you know, it, it, it impl- you know, if you don't really think about it, you think, how can I be grateful to the to the to the world outside of me? If it did, wasn't there, to be grateful to, you know, if it wasn't another being. Yeah. And in fact, I've heard that yeah. uh, that exact uh, sentence used as an argument to or prove believing. that that a god exists. Exactly, and but it's it's more because our, we're kind of built to react to other human beings, and so that's and we're we're smarter than we used to be. I mean, we've evolved our way along, and so now we're kind of realizing things beyond. Uh, just the other human beings, yet we're still responding to it with our kind of yeah. animal uh, emotions. Yeah, and we, ha- we have this idea that, uh, again, when somebody, you know, when you're in a little tribal village and somebody brought you, you know, a, a skinned chicken or something like that, you know, it's kind of a nice gift. You thank the person for it. And now, you know, when you've got that same kind of, you know, thankful built in emotion right. for having, you know, fields. Of fruit or something like that, and these you know really big things in your life to be thankful for. Well, it must be some kind of really really big powerful person up there to be thankful for. And uh, uh, I just want to make sure we don't so, uh, forget to uh, share with people that you know, hey, you know, we really do feel these things. Yeah, yeah. we can explain them as uh, biochemistry. If you do that real quick, when you say yeah, emotions, that's just biochemistry. Yeah. It yeah. seems like you're basically saying I am like you know. Uh, data or something in the in, the, in the Star Trek show, and I don't, I don't really feel them. I understand what they are, but you know, yeah. we're not different in that way. Yeah, it's, it's possibly a, a different understanding of what's happening, but yeah, I mean, I still, I still have all the same feelings that everybody else has, religious or not. I just and it's yeah, not in the dictionary definitions, but I really think that spirituality word somehow <laughs> is hooked in with the this emotion, emotional thing. I think the soul, when people talk about the soul, I think it's that center of emotion and experience that they're, that makes them think they have one. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, anyway, yeah. that's my two cents worth. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay, thanks, Sean. That's the fifth thing I've written down. <laughs> 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 no, and, and all these, all that, that's the thing. It's just this big, 
it's this big catchphrase for a whole bunch of stuff that's sort of loosely interconnected and you know and 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 stamped with this giant single term